keep looking up. What does that mean to me? It's a great statement. Those are three words that have been on my mind pretty much all of 2023. It really hit home back in summer. And I got a phone call. I was down at ICAST and I got a phone call and my, my cousin was gone. My cousin Nate was someone I looked up to and uh, he's the one who pretty much coined the phrase keep looking up. And to me it's just uh, something that really really hits home now. Resonated with me after after losing him. To me keep looking up is just uh, it's a word of encouragement. It's a word of positivity. It's a way of looking at life in a you know, glasses half full kind of mentality. When you're looking up, you've got faith, you've got hope, you've got just something positive leading you, guiding you, giving you encouragement and positivity. When you've got your head down, it's uh, it's a you know a sign of depression, anxiety, doubt. It's a way of looking at life in that glass is half empty kind of mentality. So keep looking up to me is a way of viewing life in a positive manner, good vibes only kind of manner. So we're going to start this keep looking up series this year. Every month we're going to launch a new net model, maybe a, a pig net, it may be a trout net, it may be a uh, you know, a salt series, but uh, every model is going to be different, different colors, different handle designs. We're going to do 15 nets each month. It's going to be engraved on the back. It's going to say one out of 15, and uh, they're all going to be different. <clears throat> the inspiration behind these is uh, kind of a sky theme, moons, clouds, lightning galaxy, uh, something different, uh, looking up towards the sky, uh, as that was something my cousin Nate was really into, his photography of the moon and stuff, and again, circling back, as he's my inspiration to a lot of this. What kind of connected the dots for me of keep looking up and fly fishing, and, and what is, where is, you know, where does this two things tie together. For a lot of us, fly fishing is an outlet of therapy. You know, we use fly fishing to get outdoors to um, really escape a lot of the, the rat race, the mundane things of life. And we get outdoors, we get a stand in a river, charged with the energy, the river flowing, you know, as you're wading in it, there's something therapeutic about that. And just being outdoors with buddies and connecting with God in a deeper way. Um, even if you're not a religious person, there's something about being outdoors and creation. And, uh, you know, I'm a very spiritual person. And, you know, I go to church regularly, but there's nothing like being in the outdoors and being away from all the the religion and the politics and all those things in life and just being at one with your creator. So for me, fly fishing has been a, a therapeutic outlet. You know, I think we all need to have something in life that we're connected with, whether it be a hobby or a group or a church or something to have a group of people that you're connected with that you can talk to and grow with and and love on and and learn from 
And fly fishing has been a great community of that. And that's one of the big things with natives as I've always tried to grow is the community aspect of it. You know, getting together to tie flies here and doing bugs and brew or whatever it may be, just a weekend getting out fishing together. It's, uh, there's a brotherhood there. As we did the film this year coming out called The Broski, you know, the Martin brothers and, and Nate and, and the boys we fish with, uh, they're family. And the Broski family is, uh, is close. And we all understand this therapeutic aspect of going out and fishing together. It's fun, it's enjoyment. And I think a lot of people in today's world are missing that. We get so distracted with the negativity of life, the stuff you see on the news and the politics and all this, you know, I, I, keep, my, I keep my eyes away from those things. I focus on what I, I do have somewhat control of, my life, my health, my walk with God, my wife, my families, my friends, try to treat them like I'd want to be treated. And uh, I stay away from all that stuff. And fly fishing to me is just, uh, it's, it's my outlet. It's my outlet of staying positive. It's my outlet of keep looking up. It really is. It always has been. I think more people need to get outdoors, need to get out, stand in a river, and look up. We need a little bit of hope, a little bit of faith, a little bit of encouragement in this world we live in today. Turn off the news, take a walk outside, and keep looking up. That's what it is all about to me. We need to unite again as a nation, as a people. We need to be connected to positive things. Turn off all the junk, all the filth of this world, and be encouraged and be united. To me, keep looking up. Uh, I want it to be a movement. I want it to be a wave of encouragement for people, a word of hope. I think my cousin Nate would be happy and proud to, to keep that, that phrase going. There's a lot to that statement. There's a lot to really think about. I've spent a lot of days in the woods this year hunting and fishing, really digesting that, that phrase, keep looking up. And every time I try to really deeply think about it, there's new thoughts that come to mind of what that may mean and, and what, that, what that encouraging statement can do to my life. And I think a lot of it is just the, the way we view things. We allow so much negative influence into our life, we're going to get depressed and anxious and down. And uh, if, you, if you just keep looking up, you're going to keep a lot of that negativity out. So hopefully with this series, again, it's just connecting the dots. Hopefully with this series this year, this statement of Keep Looking Up series, um, you know, hopefully it snowballs and hopefully it encourages some people. Hopefully it gets some more people out fishing and enjoying nature and uh, God's creation. And uh, to, to get connected with people and to have uh, a, a group, a community, a brotherhood. To me, I just hope this series can bring people together, um, can be a word of encouragement for people. Uh, you know, it's something different. It's something I've always wanted to do on my creative outlet of Catch Cam and Natives is to do something custom, something inspirational, something different. All the handle designs are going to be pictures that I've taken or my cousin Nate has taken or other friends and family has taken pictures of for these handle designs. Um, I think that's a cool little aspect. Um, you know, again, we'll do something different every month with the hoop and collars, but all in all, I want it to be encouraging. I want when somebody sees that 
statement on the side of the handle to be reminded that there is so much good in this world, so much good in life that we've been given. To stay positive, to stay, stay faith-driven and hope. And if you don't have that, reach out. I'd be happy to talk to anybody, share a little bit of faith, a little bit of hope. So remember, keep looking up. Be on the lookout this month uh, as we launch these. And uh, each month we're going to have a new model for you. So stay tuned. Thank you all. Happy New Year to you. And uh, keep looking up.